Right, I've just had to empty somebody's garden fish pond because I sold the house and I've got to fill the pond in. So I've acquired a few fish, so I'm going to put them in the pond. And there was, I think there was four frogs and a little tiny toad. And I wasn't going to put any fish in there, but these are little tiny goldfish. I'll try and film them going out. And there's like a big bug in there as well. Let's see if I can get him to show you. I'll put the frogs in first. Oh. Come on, matey. In he goes. His new home. <laughs> Here's a little toad. I'll put him in there and if he wants to get out, he can get out. Oh, he's upside down. There we go. Oh, another frog. This is a bug. I don't know what sort it is. There he goes. Here's the frog. Another little we're at one. That's all the frogs now. Hope they like the new home. And these are little goldfish, I haven't changed colour yet. I've got six of those. But I've got about 50 at home. I'll just pour it in, that'd be easier. I must say the pond's a lot cleaner than what they come out of. I don't think it's ever been cleaned out, it's just like sludge in there. I'll just show you the plants I've got as well. Right, it's full of these floating soldiers they call them. These were all in there. I'm just going to put them in a water tank for now. Amazing, they're £2.50 each I think if you buy them in the garden centre. Must be a hundred there. That's a water lily, one of them. Just to show you what the size is, there's a wheelbarrow. There's another lily in there. There we go. Right folks, these are me wallflowers I planted probably probably six weeks ago. Might not be that. But uh, I was just showing you weed, weeds get on top of you. This is what they're like. And this is the weeds. You would not believe how many weeds. These are all stinging nettles. I think if I planted the stinging nettles, I wouldn't get a crop like that. So I'm having to hand pull them, all the weeds. But the wallflowers are in there. So. I'm just showing you weeds get on top of you. There we go. Rough, roughly, you see how big they are. Probably a good foot high, probably more than that. So I'm going to have another go weeding and I'll show you when I've finished them. Right, yeah, here we go. Finally finished it. At least they look better now. Um, drew some rain this afternoon and uh, we're going to Malvern Flower Show tomorrow. Hopefully meet up with Nigel Muddy Boots. So I'll give you a bit of a tour around my plot, show you what's happening and what's not. 
Right, here we go. Here's a uh, nest gourds. There's this one in here, he's quite big. These are all my lot of beans that want picking. I should just pick them and put them in the greenhouse to finish drying off. I'll try and do that in a minute before we have any rain. All my runner beans and that are over now. I didn't really keep on top of picking up. Sorry if I've got a bit of wind noise folks. Here's my parsnips where I done. Just got a few of these carrots left. I've been having some out of the carrot boxes because I had red spider. But I'll, sh I'll show you those in a minute because I sprayed them with sulphur and I'll show you what's happened. Beetroot. I'll pick that many beetroot there. Got to find some other recipes now what to do with it. I've done loads of pickle beetroot. And I'm going to do some beetroot, just boil beetroot and get it vacuum packed. Mate's got a vacuum packer. So do a few of those. And I don't know, does it does it freeze after you boiled it and vacuum packed it? If I wanted to put some in the freezer. I think this is my next lot weeding. Some nice little Savoy cabbage coming in there. The rest of the cabbage I take to my chickens at work. I've gone over, they beat me. This is my sprouts and purple sprouting, but it's got that much white fly on it. I haven't sprayed it with nothing, but just give you a don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. But it's that black and horrible. I don't know how I can get rid of that off there. I think I'm going to have to spray it. Looks like they've got white fly, uh, aphids on them as well. I think I'm going to have to spray that. I didn't want to spray it. If it gets rid of them. So that's that. I've got some more weed in there to do. Carrots. These are outside. I haven't been on top of water in anything this year. I think I'm a bit, bit lazy. <laughs> Still carrots there, but they haven't had a red spider, but these are outside. Parsnips look well. Got more parsnips in this one. Those are gladiators you've just seen, and these are Duchess. Italian mate all the tomatoes this time. So the picking I need to I hope it rains one night. I've got quite a lot of cherry tomatoes left to pick. Just hoping it's gonna rain one night in the week and I'll go in there and sort it out. Right, I'll show you on the right, other part of the tunnel. This should be other gourds. Uh, Supposed to be bird nest gourds, but they're funny shaped ones. Right, this is what I sprayed sulphur on. And I think I stopped the carrot root fly because it's not spread no further and it doesn't look very active like it was before. I think I'm going to cut all the tops off. It's really died back and I'm going to burn them just to make sure I get the little devils they just start to come back green in the bottom so I'm going to have a bit of a snip round with the scissors these are me Romanescos at the back and cauliflowers in here hopefully I might get some early ones if they do any good but the they got little caterpillars on them and white flight. Just so to find that little green caterpillars, there's one look, bummy for your finger. Right, 
everything this year just seems to get plagued with things. <laughs> if it ain't red spider, it's caterpillars or white fly or leek moth. Right, these are my chilies. I need to start picking these now. I think I might have a go stringing them up like Gra Graham done some on Graham's kitchen garden from North Devon. So I might have a go doing that. I usually dry them out and then make chilli oil. What we put on our pasta. I need a water in. Still got peppers over here. Plenty of peppers. Been eating them quite a lot. Right, this is my strawberry bread. Bread? I mean bed. Uh, I've just, I don't want none of the runners. I've let them get too far. And uh, I'm going to give them the Chelsea chop. I'll try and get it to and see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see, I'm just going to just cut all the stuff off them. Try and take the dead. Need to go over them. All like that. This is before all this. These ones I'd done a few days ago. They're looking a lot better. Just all want cleaning up for the winter. Get rid of the rubbish. I think they're a bit dry underneath though, on a watering. Right. I see Terry King the other day. He lost all his leaks. I think I'll go dig all mine out. I'm gonna just I'll take them for the pig at work, or I'm gonna just burn them. Right, these are my raspberries, another load of weeds there. I think they call this Q weed. And it, uh, somebody told us it's what Q, Q Gardens bought in, but oh, it's, it's a pain, but it. One thing, it's nice and easy to pull out. But just plagued with it here. So these are me raspberries. I need to get the su supporting wires on them now. When I put those on, I'll show you what I'm doing. But I've never used these things before, like wire tensioners. So just give you a bit of an update when I do that. Also I'm going to take the net off now, just roll it back, the birds can come in if they want to then and have a rummage around. The goldfinches and greenfinches can come in and get the sunflowers. Right, this is my asparagus, just starting to go over now. Won't be long and then I, when it goes completely yellow I'll just top, chop the top off. And I'll sort the weeds out at the bottom. No sunflowers. Let's pick these for the birds. Just put one on the bird table. Might save a few seeds. I was amazed to Nigel's one on muddy boots. The size of that. I think these are only about eight to ten inches. He had it 17 inches. That's it. Right. I've put my sheets down out here. I've just got to finish this one, but I've got to, where I've been burning my weeds, drying them out and burning them over there. And I just want to clear that up, then I shall re put this sheet down. Just 
just saved me on weeding for a bit. If I hadn't done this, I think it'd have been like a carpet. I'll just show you another thing. Mr. Mole has found it under here and he's been going all the way along there. He'd probably be after the worms. So in the next week or two I'm hopefully going to pull the, the three sheets here. I'm going to pull one sheet off, put manure on, cow manure underneath it. I'll just give a quick rotating and then put it back and let the worms do the work over the winter, hopefully. It's all not the sparrow grass. It's all just going over now. And my old sweet Williams, they all want coming out. These are me dahlias from Wilco's. I just like the little pom-poms, I reckon, beautiful. They were all supposed to be pom-poms, but I think that one wasn't, but it's a bit unusual. And this one was meant to be a pom-pom. As you can see, this one's gone over. I've picked some took them home. So is my hand. That was a small one. Like these uh, lovely pom-poms. I need to come and deadhead them. My chrysanthemums are coming out. I think they needed staking. Some nice colours in them. My asters are nearly over now. Need to get up here weeding as well. I've got daffodils in here. So bring a pusho up and just go up either side. And there's two rows of ranunculus. Won't be long, they'll all start coming up. And I've got two rows of anemones there, but they're not very good. And the old rhubarb. Right, these are my zinnias, they've been a great show. They must be a good three foot tall. Had plenty of flowers on them. I've got more seed to grow next year. Been a good show. These are me happy doing all shallots, drying out. I need to get those put in bags. Pull some out now. I might do a little competition to see, and then somebody could win a few of those because I've got more than I'll ever want. These are my Tosca onions, just all need cleaning up. It's nice. These are Tosca. And these are Zabruna. One on the left is Zabruna and the other one's Tosca. Be interesting to see how they keep. I've got plenty of seeds of this. and that needs a bit of watering. Some cup, somebody give me some comfrey roots so I just had a let chopped it up and made a load of cuttings. I've got comfrey there. Right, my wildlife pond got a bit of duckweed I've got to get out. And I bought some Water hyacinths. I bought those up since I put my pond in, but it must have seeded down because I've got loads of little plants coming everywhere. Got the one there with a the little boatman on.
Right folks, there we go. Hope you like what you see. If you've got any questions just ask. Thank you for all my new subscribers and old ones. So till next time. We'll see you again. Thank you.